Hi guys, Adrian Hughes here with another video and today we're looking at the Huawei Send P6 running Emotion UI 3.0. So this is based on Android KitKat 4.4.2. Now I did a video a month or so back uh, looking at the music, the karaoke features of this phone and I never got around to actually going through all of what was new in this build of Emotion UI. So this is the official build, final, stable release of Emotion UI for the Huawei SNP 6. Now Huawei's done a great uh, thing with all these updates, so they've gone and pushed this to the P6, P7, Ascend Mate 7 has got it, and um, surprisingly the Ascend Mate has also got it. And that was stuck on 4.2.2 until about a week or so ago for about two years so it's amazing that uh, well I've just picked up the slack and decided to go well you know it's an old phone and uh, a lot of people have bought it and uh, you know I think they'd be a bit pissed off if it never got Kit Kat and they've delivered in droves so I'd say the experience would be similar to this phone the P6 because they share the same silicon inside so it's a 1.4 1.5, sorry, gigahertz quad core um, Kieran chip, so it's Huawei's own in house solution. Now, let's not waste any time and get right into it. So, this is the new magazine, I believe it's called Lock Screen. It's flash, pretty flash. Now, it just pulls images from whatever you want to um, decide that you want. So, this is similar to what was on, I believe, the Emotion UI 2.3. Um, it's a nice lock screen. See, as you can see, I've just uh, customized it for my preference of cars. So, you've got the usual camera um, shortcut there, and we'll dive into that later. Um, what else? Uh, if you drag that up, it gives a little description, a little blah blah about what the photo is like. Uh, what does it say here? The mystery of creation is like the darkness of. Night. Oops. Do not seat your love upon a precipice because it is high. Okay, so it doesn't really describe the photo itself, but a bit corny about it. Um, phrases it wants to do. Anyway, let's have a look. So you've got all this, uh, you can scroll through, just press next, you can pause the slideshow, save it, favourite, share it. And we've got an update. So we've got the usual shortcuts here. Calendar, calculator, flashlight. Pretty bright there. And uh, I believe that's a magnifying glass. Okay. Can't use that until we unlock the phone. So just let me do that first. Oh, it's a front camera effect. waste any time. So this is Emotion UI 3.0. If you haven't seen it already, it's, uh, it's moved over. Nice fonts, etc. We've got here the lollipop style buttons. So, and then we can drag the notification draw down. It's quite handy. Now this is a new notification draw. So we have any notifications up here, messaging, Twitter, etc. You can bin them all. Um, See there, it's a great layout. It tells you when it was done. I've never seen that before on a phone. Uh, then we've got the shortcuts draw. Okay, so you've got you know all the usual settings. And just let me get that. Okay, all the extra, ultra battery mode, etc. Torch, multi-screen. Do not disturb. So this is basically the same as what was on Emotion UI 2.3, but gladly it's a bit faster and not as laggy because that was one of the most laggy parts on the original uh, Emotion UI. You know, free version 1.6, 2.0, 2.3—all the same, all very laggy. You know, it'll take ages for it to just um, pop through. 
So this is uh, the ultra battery saving mode, so it kind of dumbs it down into the geriatric mode that we had on, geriatric style mode that we had on, um, you know, previous uh, Emotion UI builds. Really, it's another name for it, it's not uh, a uh, true uh, power saving one. Anyway, back into this, the notification drawer in the settings. Turn that back on. This is a new settings drawer. You've got the general, or the all. As you can, yeah, as you can see, anyway, sorry. Um, as we're going through, you can see the changes here. There's been, you see how there's a dot under all the menus. Everything's been flattened, made more smoother, more, what I say, cleaner look. This is reflected throughout the whole interface. It's got all the options, VPN, all that. Home screen style, standard or simple. So as you can see, that's ultra battery saving mode anyway. It's not much of an ultra battery saving mode uh, in opposition to phones such as HTC and uh, Samsung with their implementation. Okay, so let's go through what else is in the, in the options. Pretty standard there for the display. Sound, storage, battery, power saving. Uh, location services, notification manager, protected apps, security, backup and reset. So, uh, Huawei's own cloud solution, manage apps, network apps, motion control. Now, this is one of the things that didn't make it over. So, on the old builds of Emotion UI, you could get uh, the emotion. Uh, sorry, the um, you know the gestures, just flip to silence, uh, bring up the phone to your ear to answer, etc. Now that none of that's made it onto this official build, unfortunately. But if you're up for it, you can go and root it your phone and uh, add the add the motion control back in. So some people have gone and done this already. So let's just have a look at what we're running. Motion UI. Now we're running. B708. So B707 was the developer build and this is the final stable release. Okay, this is the home screen. As you can see it's no app draw as a standard for many of these uh, Asian, you know, Chinese OEMs these days. Okay, so what can we show you? Optimization. Much like earlier builds, frees up the RAM, etc. The dialer, as you can see, it's, you know, it's just gone in a lot faster there. It's a bit laggy on all the builds of Emotion UI. App Center, so these are Huawei's own apps. Backup, browser, calculator, calendar. And clean camera. Now the camera's changed a fair bit, if you can see here. But it's taken, uh, ripped off the iPhone style here. We've got the sliders here, so you've got the photo mode. And um, let's just see what we can pull up here. Oh, just got the cap here. Okay. I got a photo there. And you can't see it very well, but here it is. There you go. The image name. Share the usual options. Turn left, set details, etc. Was taken, resolution, etc. Now the cool thing with this camera app is it's gained filters. If you can see here, but it's on the original. It says Valencia. As you can see, it's Halo. You can direct. You can access these filters directly from the camera, which is quite cool. No need for other apps like Instagram or anything like that. 
and uh, this is a beauty level just a tacky old thing just smooths out your face you take photos can look a bit weird for output so I tend not to use it same with video can have the filters directly on there take a video blah 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 filming a cap nothing interesting quite mundane pausing recording ah cool there we go so you can take photos during the filming bam and you press the big button just to finish as you can see this is a video That's it for the camera. Uh, front camera flash, HDR, panorama, audio note, best photo, watermark. Now a lot of prompts. Uh, you can see you can play around with yourself and um, just give it a shot. Just get out of there. So that's it for the camera. Cast. It's not Chromecast, so don't get excited. Clock. Now, world clock alarms. This is a uh, nice. Uh, what they've done here made it nice, quite nice looking. Stopwatch. Look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Nap. Yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. Stop. Down those driving mode, email files, FM radio, just the usual gallery. Nothing special there. Usual Google apps, uh, more of the Huawei ones. Uh, you can't uh, uninstall them, so no luck there. Notepad, phone manager, so this is much the same as what was on earlier builds. Just a bit spiffy looking. All your junk files, all of that. Optimization, uh, app permissions, etc., etc. Harassment filter, so you can block people, uh, unwanted callers, voice recorder, screen lock, settings, which, you've already, which we've already had a look at. And themes, so you can have uh, all the older themes, all the style themes if you want. Updater, which never works because uh, it doesn't can't pull directly from the service. Videos. Now this is uses Huawei's own service, so obviously you're gonna get a lot of Chinese uh, videos. I believe it is. You've got your own videos here. So the ones I've just taken. So this is quite good. It plays all MKV, MP4, all the formats that you would want that you would want to play. Um, here's all the Google apps here. and a shortcut for the music player so let's just dive into the music player this will be the last thing we look at and um, yeah speaker's quite loud I'm trying talk over it. I should probably turn this volume down. That's much better. Anyway, what else have we got? Folders, quite a nice view. Just to go on to the now playing. Now, I showed it in the other video but let's see if we can pull it up again. Turn the Wi-Fi on first. But it can pull down lyrics directly which is cool. Wi-Fi going. Let's do this. Right. 
lyrics for the more common songs. That's Dolby Surround Toggle there. Let's pull something more common. Coldplay. Okay. It's got a nice circular look here. It's quite spiffy. Yes, there we go. Lyrics. Now watch this as it kicks into the song. So as you can see, quite smooth, very nice new look to the music player. This looks very iPod-ish, doesn't it? Very iTunes-ish. Anyways, it does look very nice, I must admit. This is the cool thing. You can set it so it just turns up anywhere, all over the as an overlay over whatever you're doing in the menu. So it's great to share with your friends or whatever you decide to do. Yeah, that's it. That's basically Emotion UI 3.0 on the Huawei Ascend P6. A great update, and they've come a long way since the initial uh, Emotion UI 1.6 build. So that was B. Whew, B 106, 111 era. It was about a year, year and a half ago, maybe, maybe even longer. It's, it's been doing great. Uh, we're up to B 708 now, so I hope. Wouldn't count on it, but it would be nice if uh, Huawei brought even more updates to this phone because, yeah, they've done a great job and they've come a long way. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see you on the next video. Thanks again.